hi guys welcome back to my channel you are welcome if you're new here welcome today we are talking about navigating female friendships now to deal with friendship betrayal um uh, i've been betrayed before and it wasn't well my own was not betrayal betrayal like that but i remember that the very first friendship heartbreak i had was this is a story time um it was in uni i had housed my friend i know if my friend's watching this she's gonna be like <laughs> so she had housing problem i housed her and then i don't even know i can't remember different funny things i can't remember the story anymore i just know that one day she packed up and left because we had an issue so i went out by the time i came back she was gone and i was now this is the thing about life and i'm i'm looking back now i'm telling you guys why things like this happen i was angry that she left without telling me she couldn't even call me nothing she just left and we didn't it's not like we fought per se i don't know if we had an argument but i can't i don't think we fought but she just left so she on the other end she was expecting me to call her when i got to my house and i didn't find her so i didn't call her because i was pissed then she became pissed that i didn't call her <laughs> and so when i saw her eventually in school i carried my eyes away expecting that maybe she'll be like ah fadi kemi you can come and she also carried her eyes away and my dear that is how we kept malice i think we kept malice for like one month or so i can't remember but throughout the exam and the funny thing is that we we're in a group of friends so we were around each other but we we're not talking to each other and everybody knew and nobody said anything everybody kept quiet i don't know what she told them though and i don't know because nobody even asked me like i don't think anybody asked me like why why did this happen why did you nobody asked me why were you guys not talking nobody asked me i'm serious <sighs> now that i think about it that's mo that period made me over rethink the friendships anyway so later i think then i started my faith so obviously my conscience was always judging me anytime i was not because i was keeping malice and the holy spirit was not having it so one day after a lot of you know stop it after a lot of um admonish admonition and correction i eventually took my phone and i sent a text saying oh so, so, so. I, I sent a very long text. i cannot remember the details but i know i sent a long text and i was like this is this, this and then she replied me telling me that oh she was thinking that i'm the one that's supposed to message her i did not see her at home that i was acting like i think she said i wasn't homely i was hiding my key of my padlock i think she said a lot of things that like i didn't welcome her she didn't feel welcome that's why she left and I was like, why wouldn't you feel welcome? Like, if you did not feel okay, you should have just talked to me. She, was, she even now mentioned something like, they had told her that if she comes to my house, she will suffer. And that she saw it. That people were even laughing at her when she came back. I was like, wow. Okay. <laughs> so I can't, I can't remember all the details, but I remember those words very well. That's why your words are very powerful. Whatever you say to your friend when you are fighting, just know that they will remember forever. Mm -hmm. So I remember that I... Um, we shall settle the fight eventually until now we are still friends right but that period of not talking to her was a heartbreak <laughs> so i knew the heartbreak of friendship when you expect more from someone and the person doesn't do and of course i know probably the person too felt like that maybe she felt i did not i did not treat her well right maybe i wasn't accommodating enough so in all of this I, what i took from that whole you know scenario was that whatever you're doing treat the person like you would treat yourself love the person give it your all and if it doesn't work out it's fine don't um but of course don't do it to someone that is not giving you the same energy i think you should test people i honestly think you should test people but then be patient with people after people have passed the test of like okay you know what this person is your friend is your core and i think that it's also very very important to be careful who you call friend don't just everybody should not be your friend okay calm down everybody should not be your friend be careful before you invite people in but once people are in give it your all that's what i'll say about friendships um should you shoot your shots to friends i don't know really <laughs> i i don't think i've ever shot my shots like that like that but yeah i i have a friend now that it may seem like i shot my shots because i was the first person to text her but it wasn't like i was texting her to say be my friend it just 
the friendship became organic because we realized that we, we had shared values but yeah overall i think that recently i've since like two three years i've been asking god to give me friendships and i've been specifying i don't say god give me friends i was telling god the kind of friends i want now and god has really been blessing me with friends like i have so many um not so many i have new friends that are like my core that like they get me i get them we are in the same spiritual wave we understand things we are vibing right and i love it <laughs> so i just thank god for giving me friends of course understand also that you guys may be vibing yes you may have shared values but you will not see on everything let's be clear just because someone not so that you'll not be expecting the person to be perfect and then maybe the person does something you don't like you now be like ah cancel don't cancel people calm down <laughs> don't be too quick to cancel people but at the core of it i feel like this is a whole master class of friendships <laughs> at the core of it i prayed to god to give me friends i pray to god and god gave me friends so if you are trusting god for new friends maybe you want to have spiritual friends people that love you people that you love people that you can give your heart to like just pray about it the same way you pray about your romantic relationship same way you pray to god and say god give me a man after your heart tell god to give you friends after your heart tell god to this to give you a discerning eyes tell god to open your eyes to friendships around you because that was one of the things i also learned that sometimes they're friends that you've not noticed <laughs> there are people around you that you've not noticed so tell god to give you a discerning eyes and it will happen god is like that it's like it happened with me and i know that god can make it happen with you so genuinely pray and god is going to make it happen and when god starts making it happen don't doubt god don't start um for example let me give you guys a very simple example i'm in church and God is, you know, pointing someone in my direction. Look the direction that God is pointing you to. Don't start looking for one friend, maybe online, so that you can be posting online and saying, oh, my friend, my friend. That's not why you should be looking for friends. Because most, most of us, our priorities are wrong, right? God is showing you a friend in your local job. Because this person does not have social media handle now. You think that person is not the kind of friend you are looking for. No. <laughs> so, um, some people are not going to fit in the total description that you want but what you need is that their heart is right and you have a friend indeed okay so pray to god about it tell god the kind of friend you want um give, like me i pray to god though and the funny thing is that god gave me recently i think it was like last year god gave me this particular friend i love her so much if she's watching this video she's gonna be like <sighs> And she will never know if she's the one because I would never admit that she's the one. So, you're on your own. <laughs> okay, I love you so much. And yeah, so I feel like God really blessed me with her. There are other friends that God has also blessed me with this year. And some of them, I was like, this person can't be my friend. But then God is like, no, this person is your friend. And this person has shown care. These other people too, they've shown care to me. So sometimes allow God navigate your friendships. Allow God choose friends for you too. It's not only relationship that God should be choosing. Call God into your friendships. Because see, the friendships, the friends that you have, they will greatly impact your journey with God. They will greatly impact how you move. Imagine you have a worship session with your friends. You guys hold hands. You pray in tongues. You prophesy over each other. Ha! God, your heart will be bursting with so much love. It's not only relationship, but as I said before, you need friends too. I think that when it comes to friendship, don't set out with, ah, they're going to, what if they betray me? No, the same way you date people and you don't know if they'll betray you or not. You just do your best because you love them. Do it for your friends. Go all out for them. But before you go all out for them, hey, let's be clear. Don't go all out for a stupid person, or a foolish person. <laughs> the reason why people have friendship hearts, I said before that, sometimes you know your friend is doing something wrong and you still support them. Another thing is that before you go all out for them, ensure that they are, both of you have shared values and they are the right person, right? It's not in the case of the person is not doesn't share your values and you're just trying to force a horse like your friendship should be shared you should both know that you care for each other you should both be looking out for each other you should both like you should see effort on the person's part the same way in your maybe your boyfriend or your husband that you're trying to maybe the person you're trying to marry you would see that the person is going out for you coming as in checking on you doing things like that 
that is how your friend should be now that you know that the person is like that both of you have shared values you can see that person truly cares for you a hair then go all out for them <sighs> okay i think i'm gonna end this video like this so thank you so much for watching if you watch up until this moment adieu thank you so much